Thank you, Chad. Columbian Park is nearly unrecognizable following the completion of several major projects. Uh, but park officials are still wanting to finish some key attractions there. News 18's Joe Paul spoke recently with the Lafayette Parks Department, and he joins us live tonight to share what's next for Columbian Park. Joe? Hey Jeff and Sam, Columbian Park is coming fresh off its Memorial Island grand opening and dedication on Monday and the transformation here is really beginning to snap into focus but officials tell me there's still a lot of work left to do and park fans are going to have to wait for several anticipated attractions. It has been an amazing transformation. But there's still work left to do at Columbian Park, says Lafayette Park Superintendent Claudine Lofman. We still have a lot of landscaping, but some plants and trees really can't be planted until the fall. But in total, we're planting a little over 4,500 plants, but we'll be stocking the lagoon later on this year with fish. The former Jenks Rest Building is demolished. A new restroom facility will replace it by the end of the fall. And with all these improvements, uh, Certainly having a new restroom facility is, is something that is very important. But some attractions are about a year behind schedule, including the zoo's penguin exhibit. Trying to transport birds across state lines and just delay with paperwork, so on and so forth, all attributed to the pandemic, really um, push back our, the arrival date of these birds. And then, of course, everybody knows by now that penguins do molt and we have to wait until they molt. Meanwhile, the carousel building sits empty. The contractor hired to build the ride unexpectedly went bankrupt due to the pandemic. With that particular contract, there uh, was a deposit situation. Uh, that contractor did go bankrupt. So I think there's some legalities that are being worked through right now. Once everything is in place, Lofman says the marketing team will take over. The physical side of it is done, but now it really becomes a fun challenge for our marketing team to really bring in a lot of programs and activities for our community to enjoy. That carousel deposit was worth $60,000. Lafayette Park's foundation president, Rachel Hazare, says officials won't pursue legal action for the deposit because it's unlikely they'll get the money back. Instead, they've chosen a new company, Western Train Company, which specializes in amusement train rides and carousel restorations. The carousel here is now slated for completion in spring of next year. Reporting live in Lafayette, Joe Paul, News 18.